Now that we understand how intervals work, we're going to start creating graphs to describe complicated real-world situations. For real-world relationships, the rate of change often varies at different times, depending on what's happening in the relationship. Using intervals is a way to allow us to create graphs that tell a story for complicated real-world relationships which keep changing. We're going to show you an example here. We've got a written description, some information about what happens during a local pilot's fight, flight. And this graph is going to help us explain the relationship between the time that this pilot is flying in minutes and the altitude or the height of her plane in feet. So we're told that a local pilot takes her plane out for a short flight on the weekend and for the first 15 minutes she's going to gain altitude or height at a constant rate of a thousand feet every minute. So if I want to describe this situation on a graph for the first 15 minutes, so we're going to limit our domain from zero minutes up to 15 minutes, she gains altitude at a constant rate or the constant speed of a thousand feet every minute. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a line onto this graph, which I've set up and labeled here, to represent that situation. She starts at zero minutes, her plane's on the ground, her altitude zero feet. And for the first 15 minutes, 5, 10, 15, she gains 1,000 feet every minute. Or 1,000 times 15 means after 15 minutes, when she's at this 15 minute mark, she should have gained 15,000 feet. So by inserting this line here and going up to our tool, increasing the width of that line a little bit, this black stretch right here, represents the first and second bullet point. She starts at on the ground at zero minutes, takes the plane out, and gains a thousand feet for the first 15 minutes. We're then told she keeps the same altitude for the next 10 minutes. So once she gets up to 15,000 feet for 10 minutes from minute 15 all the way to minute 25 here, she's going to just stay at the same height. So we're going to insert another line and this time it's going to have a slope of zero for 10 minutes. She doesn't go up, she doesn't go down in height. She's just flying around at 15,000 feet. The next bullet point tells us over the next 10 minutes, she increases her altitude by another thousand feet. So we're going to return to the end here where she was staying constant. And now she goes up for 10 minutes from 25 to 35 minutes. For 25 to 35 minutes, she gains another 5,000 feet. From 15,000, add 5,000, we should be up at 20,000 feet at the end. So for these 10 minutes, she's gaining altitude again all the way up to 20,000 feet. We're told for the next 10 minutes, she's going to cruise at that current maximum altitude of 20,000 feet. So again, we're going to create a line here for 10 minutes. And I'm going to zoom in on the graph by holding Control, Alt, and Plus if that catches something I don't want. And now I can position that correctly and show that for 10 minutes she had a constant rate of change. Now we're at minute 45. We're told she spends the final five minutes losing altitude at a constant rate of change before finally landing her plane. When she lands, of course, she'll be at an altitude of zero feet. So for the final line, the descent as she's bringing this plane in for landing, we start here at minute 45, and it takes her five minutes to get to the ground, five minutes to go straight down. Again, I'm going to zoom in to fix that graph just a little bit and plot it more exactly. Control, Alt, and Minus zooms out in Google Drawings. And now I can see I have a graph, this complicated curving straight lines that tells the story of a local pilot's flight.